Hey guys, Kane Bourne back with Elder Scrolls Online. Today I want to talk about add-ons and increasing your Lua memory so that you don't get the Lua memory error as you start to use some of these add-ons. Um, I've had so many people asking me what add-ons are you using, how do you put them in, and a couple people have run into the error and mentioned it, but mostly I, it was something I ran into as a new player where I kept getting this pop-up box saying you've run out of Lua memory, fix it, and I don't know what the heck was going on. So I want to cover all of that today. I will have a video in the future that goes much more in depth describing which add-ons I use and why. I will today show you what I'm using, but I'm not going to describe them too much because I haven't really honed in on the perfect setup yet um, for the best experience. There's a couple I like, but I'm still sort of in the testing phase. So first off, I want to show you the absolute best website that I have found for uh, discovering these add-ons, and that would be ESOU. Uh, dot com and I'm actually not at the home page here. Here is the home page So when you're at the home page here You have a bunch of different categories to look for or you can actually go ahead and search one manually um, So let's start by showing you how I would do it this way. Let's just take uh, a category auctions uh, house and vendors Tamriel Trade Center is an incredible one, which I will cover in the future. You would just go ahead and click this download tab. You'll get a folder that pops up. You're going to want to unzip it and then copy the file. And then you're going to go into your files and you're going to documents, Elder Scrolls Online, and then live, and then basically add-ons. And you're just going to go ahead and paste the unzipped file right in there. So that is the manual method to do it. Some people prefer that way and some people just like to keep things easy and minimize the other programs that they're running. Um, but if you do go back to this ESOU website on the home page and you click this tab here, they actually have a minion add-on program. That's what it's called. It, uh, opens up like this, a little bit reminiscent of almost like the Discord menu. It's interesting. But um, this program is going to allow you to look at all of the uh, add-ons that you have installed. If they require an update, there'll actually be a tab right here where I'm moving the mouse up and down. Um, you can find more, so you can search additional ones and load them right here without doing that copy-paste stuff with the folder. So some people might like uh, the ease of use there. You can also then um, set up different uh, a backup point basically before you've added some new ones. If if it screws up and you just don't want to deal with it, you know you end up running an add-on you hate and you want to go back to an earlier option, you can do that. And then there are some more advanced options as well. So both Minion and the other option work fine. I will be perfectly honest, even though I have Minion installed, I never use it. I just always grab the folder I want and I put it in the, fi in the file. And I have no issue doing that, but some people are more comfortable the other way. Now, as you start to do some of these, especially something like Master Merchant, you might encounter this Lua memory error. So let me show you how to fix that. First, though, I'll give you an, a chance to look at what I have installed here. Advanced UI, Alstom Guild, Guild Store, sorry. Destinations, Lore Books, Master Merchant, Research Assistant, Sky Shards, Shrendar, Wicked Outfitter, and Wicked Toolbar. I will take this opportunity to say, if you're on console, I'm very sorry. These aren't available to you. Um, hey, at least you're not going to get carpal tunnel from sitting in front of a computer all day. But I kid, but I mean, these are incredibly helpful. I will say, though, on the plus side for you console guys, I mean, some of the mystery and the fun and the adventure of exploring is still there. Um, some people complain that once you have lore books and destinations and sky shards particularly, your map has everything kind of unveiled and it's uh, kind of boring. You know, you, you already know where everything is. For a guy like me who goes to school three days a week, uh, and that's college, I'm in my mid-30s, um, works six days a week, has a kid, uh, tries to crank out a video every other day. Uh, life is busy, so we're going to go ahead and run some add-ons. So, But I understand for, for the folks who don't want to use them. Um, but back to that Lua memory error. How do we fix that? Pretty simple. You're going to go back to your source file here, back into Elder Scrolls, back into Live. Instead of add-ons, you're going to go down to User Settings. Inside of User Settings, you're just going to scroll down until you see something called Lua Memory something or another. We'll find that in just a second. Here it is, Lua Memory Limit. And I will make a big arrow here. You don't have to make a big arrow, please don't. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to show you quickly where it is. Make sure you're looking at what I'm looking at. That Lua Memory Limit is how many megabytes your computer is basically allowed to dedicate uh, towards these Lua uh, applications when you're you know playing this, this game right now, ESL. So what you're going to want to do, the default is 64. You're going to want to bump it up at least to like 128 to 56. 512 should be sufficient for almost everything. I have a gargantuan amount of available memory on my computer because I run uh, 32 gigabytes. If anybody wants to know more about my system, please ask me in the comments. Glad to tell you. Um, 
But anyways, so I can do this. You don't have to do quite so many. Probably around 512 would be sufficient. And you will never see this error again. So just go ahead and highlight this number in the parentheses, delete it, and then enter 512, enter 256, whatever value works, and then go ahead and make sure that you save the change. Um, once you have done all of that, you should be free of those errors. Um, I'll let you look at the add-ons again. If you have any questions about any of these add-ons, again, I will do a future video and go very much in depth. But if something can't wait, let me know right away. If you have a question about anything else, um, let me know in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, let me know. I'd appreciate that as well. Um, I will have plenty more videos coming. I'm going to crank them out as fast as I can to complete the entire beginner's guide. Then I'll hopefully start looking at some advanced PvP builds and things like that as I grow as a player as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope this video was helpful.